If you're just joining us, Glenn went to see a film uh, this weekend in St Neots called Mrs Harris Went to Paris. And I've seen the trailer and, ca- and uh, Glenn's seen the film and I don't think the trailer matches the film that he's told me about. Luckily, we've got an adjudicator, Cathy in Dogsthorpe. <laughs> Morning, Cathy. How are you, my love? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all Apart right. I think you're hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry and I couldn't... I didn't get to sleep till one o'clock, Cathy, and oh, then I was... I was up at four, so I'm a bit... I'm all right. Glenn's kept me going in coffee this morning and I get to chat to you and everyone, so it's nice. Oh, well. That's a consolation prize, I think. <laughs> exactly. Now, tell me, have you been to see Mrs Harris Goes to Paris? No, I haven't seen it, but I've seen the trailer. Right, I it, have too. It starts off, she's talking to this this person, this man, and he says that you're, enti- you're entitled to some war pension. Oh. And then the next thing, she's talking to her friend and she's got this fancy dress in her hand. So I think she got uh, a lot of back pay or something, and uh, that's why she went to Paris. OK, Glenn, is this ringing true to you? It says it rings... Did you sleep through the film, Glenn? So the way I understand I it, Cathy... must Kath- go to sleep through it. <laughs> he must have done it. It doesn't make sense, does it, Cathy? Because we've seen no, the trailer. No. And I remember that bit, that she was. She found out she was entitled to some money. And she's a cleaner, isn't she? She's yeah, a cleaner. It, yeah. And I think she'd been looking after some posh people's houses. And one of the ladies had a dress delivered. And she's like, oh, my goodness, she spent more on this dress than three houses put together or something like that. Yeah. But she's enamoured by it. Is it like Coco Chanel? Is it Chanel? It's Chanel, I think. Or, like that. It's got a posh name. Or Givenchy or like a desi- Paris designer house, that sort yeah. of thing. And then when she realises she's got some money, she goes, you know what, life's too short. I'm off to Paris to buy this dress. Because yeah. it's it before the days where the f- fashions from Paris would end up in I mean, House of Fraser. I mean, it's one, isn't it? It's sort of in the 1940s or something like that, I think. Yeah, I think it's post-war, I think. Yeah, before um, my time. <laughs> yeah, and then, she, and then she went off to Paris, and then she finds herself at a fashion show, or she finds herself buying the dress. Yeah, and that's she, it. And then the... the uh, the, uh, Mr. Armani or Mr. Givenchy or whoever it is is there and meets her and I think it sounds like she's very impressive and he gives her a job but you see that's what I took from the trailer Cathy and Mrs. Harris yeah, goes to Paris I, took, I thought oh it don't seem very interesting <laughs> oh, Cathy I beg to differ I saw that trailer and thought I need to go immediately so I'm not sh- y- well, y- it sounds I like I don't like things about the 1940s and about war and things like that you know so I sort of uh, Oh, I thought it was about a dress going to Paris. Well, you see, now I'm so I mean, you just get a little glimpse and I'll say, oh, yeah. Cathy, you've confused me more, love. I'd <laughs> seen the trailer, Glenn saw the film, that didn't match up. I've seen the trailer and you've seen the trailer and that doesn't match up at all either. So I don't know if I'm now just confused with what trailer I've seen. Shall we both go there together? Let's let's do it. Let's have a date, <laughs> Cathy. You and me will go and see Mrs. Paris goes to Harris. I've done it again. Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. Now, it's listen- because Glenn did it. He said Mr. Mrs. Paris went to Paris. Exactly. I'm going to blame it on Glenn. Thank you yeah. very much, Cathy. That's what producers are for. <laughs>